Today, I wanted to discuss with you all the number one main reason you are more than likely losing gunfights. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Quick little sidebar here. If you find this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, be sure to subscribe. I have much more Apex content coming here in the near future. But yeah, back to the number one reason why you lose gunfights, and it's this. You are never, ever, 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 ever prioritizing high ground, okay? You should always, always, always aim for the high ground in fights for a tactical advantage. Let me further explain here, but yet also give you folks some examples. When it comes to high ground, the one thing I want you all to think about is this. When you are on high ground, actually, what you have the ability to do that somebody on low ground does not have the ability to do is actually shrink your hitbox, okay? Doesn't matter if you are literally on top of this railway like this body is right here, or if you are up there on top of this building. Either way, high ground is high ground, shucks. I could literally be right here and somebody is right here on top of this, right? High ground is high ground no matter what. Somebody can be on top of the stairs and I'm off the stairs and I would still consider it to be some form of high ground, okay? Let me give you all like more of a visual example of what somebody looks like on high ground here. And if the bots are, operating properly uh there should be some bots that spawn yep okay bingo so check out this guy right here okay he's strafing back and forth even when i'm right here you can see his silhouette through the building and you can see that majority of the time as this guy is strafing right here you can see the only thing showing his head and shoulders his head shoulders and torso you can see nothing when he gets here now you can see his head, shoulders, and torso, right? Like you can see the part of his body that is submerged. So if I'm an average player trying to fight this guy here, and I'm going to miss shots, you know, bear with me here. So if I'm trying to fight this guy here and I'm just shooting him as he peeks, you know, I'm tracking, tracking, man, where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, he's right here. I can no longer hit him. He's back out. Boom, boom, boom. He's back hidden. You see what I'm saying? You see how difficult it is to be able to kill somebody that maintains high ground and that uses excuse me that uses it properly you see what i'm saying on the flip side here if i'm the person with high ground let me go ahead and kill this bot right here i'm gonna kill this one as well because i just don't like him looking at me he make me a little bit nervous you know what i'm saying now if i'm the person playing high ground here and let's pretend this is an enemy that's trying to shoot me i have the opportunity to play this enemy just like that bot was playing me but again i'm not a bot i'm an actual player so i can use my brain here right so if he doesn't see me and i see him i can pop up right here take some shots drop back behind cover now i'm i am i am hidden he cannot hit me from here by any means right i know where he is because he's firing up at me and he's hitting this barricade right here but he doesn't know where I'm at. So boom, I just cracked him right there. He's still shooting right here. I can reposition from here and I can angle him off, take some more shots. Now he's shooting up here. Then I can come around here, angle him off again, maybe drop down if need be. I wouldn't drop down, but you guys see what I'm saying here. I have multiple ways to play these angles in holding high ground. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't drop down, especially in a straight up 3v3 gunfight. I'm trying to hold high ground as much as possible here. So again, by having high ground, I have the ability to make myself smaller. Even if I'm fighting somebody right here and he's shooting at me, when I crouch down, I am a smaller target to hit. So I could do something like maybe get a cell off maybe hit a bat off i can't tell from this angle right here if he can still hit me he probably can but again i'm a more difficult target to hit he's going to have to really line up those sights to be able to hit those shots and if i drop back even more as you can see i'm completely out of this person's los or their line of sight here so always having high ground is important here and having high ground again you have the best opportunity to shoot all of their body and they have the opportunity to shoot whatever part of your body that you expose to them okay now when it comes to maintaining high ground there are a couple of things that i want you all to keep in mind okay that first thing being to keep your head on a swivel because as we all know apex legends shipped without audio and respawn at this point probably is not going to drop audio in the game at any moment in time so you need to keep your head on a swivel because what can happen if you're sitting here focusing a team here you're just pecking people over here just fooling around lollygagging looking over here what could be happening is there could be a team coming from back here rotating and literally climbing up to take that high ground from you okay so always keep your head on a swivel if you're playing here and you're peeking here if you have a teammate 
holding it down over here then shucks it wouldn't hurt for you to take a look back over here and make sure nobody's creeping up on you and then your teammate communicates to you hey somebody right here let's team shot this person you guys can team shot them get a knock after you get that knock you go ahead jump back here take a look see to make sure nobody is taking that high ground from you all okay also another key thing to keep in mind is that when you have high ground you will try to get or not you will but people will try to nade you off a of high ground right any good team will try to get you off a of high ground by dropping nades dropping ults and things of that nature so definitely keep your head on the swivel there some people might sky nade which is where they throw a grenade straight up in the sky as they're sitting right here up under you so like if i did so right here let's pretend that's a grenade and I threw the grenade all the way up there in the sky. Obviously, it's not gonna go that high. But what happens is with the sky nade, by the time it lands, it's going to explode, okay? With an arc star, you still have a little bit of time to get out of there. And with a thermite, you still have a little bit of time to get out of there. But with an actual frag grenade, it's almost instantaneous. By the time the frag grenade lands, it's too late. It's gonna hit you for 100. And it might blow you off of that high ground, all right? So definitely keep that in mind. Keep an eye out for sky nades. What I would encourage you to do is stay moving on high ground. You never just wanna stand here and be goofy. That is the best way for you to get sky nated or altered off of high ground so you want to make sure you keep your head on the swivel you're moving and shoot you still want to play cover to some degree if i have a bin up here you know what i'm saying i'm still looking over i'm shooting whatever they're sky nading i'm getting up here i'm moving i'm sliding i'm doing whatever i can to dodge it and the last thing I want you all to keep in mind when it comes to high ground is high ground is not exclusive to rooftops, okay? You don't have to be there or be there or be over there to have what I would consider high ground. Shoot, even a staircase can be considered high ground. To me, this can be considered high ground because I am on an elevated piece of, well, this isn't land, but I'm on an elevated stage in comparison to the opposition, right? So if I'm fighting this guy right here, of course, he has a little rock to play off of. But if I'm fighting this guy right here, I still consider this high ground why because i have the ability to hide part of my body becoming a more difficult target for this person or in this case this bot to shoot back at you see what i'm saying so i'm in a gunfight right here on the staircase you know what i'm saying i'm shooting at him i can go ahead crouch back here you know kind of peek out play this and i can treat this as a pseudo cover pseudo high ground type of ordeal whether if you call this cover a high ground, that's totally up to you. But to me, it's a little bit of a hybrid because I have the opportunity to play this and I can t not take bullets, but I can <laughs> dodge bullets coming from this spot, coming from this spot, coming from this bot, just by crouching down. I still may get hit, right? I would say my head and shoulders might be exposed here, but I am much more of a difficult target. So I can go ahead, dodge bullets, wait till they reload, peek out, and I can go ahead and lace up. You see what I'm saying? And with that being said, beautiful people, I hope this was helpful to you all. Thank you all so much for coming and watching. I love you all, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.